Oh. Welcome back. Now, established to help creatives, entrepreneurs and professionals enjoy a quality shared living experience, Node already exists in the likes of LA, New York, Toronto and London. And now they've arrived in Dublin. Yes, indeed. Bringing a little flavour of NYC and global living to Ireland, I went mm. along to explore their friends style 51 bed res residence on fancy Fitzwilliam Square. Have a look. Well, have you ever heard of Node? Well, it seems they have arrived in Ireland here in Fitzwilliam Square and they've opened up the first community living quarters. Want to have a look? So do I. The idea of Node, the word Node means to connect. And so we're a new way of community living for the global, upwardly mobile, um, ever moving around young professional that's in the creative industry. And so what we have here are a community of apartments where people can get to know each other, um, share some communal spaces, but also have their own private places right here in the middle of Dublin in D2. This is shared living, but it's shared living at a premium level. Is that fair to say? It's not quite student digs. No. Um, well, this location, of course, is a flagship location for Dublin and for Ireland. So we're here in Fitzwilliam Square, which is, of course, one of the most prime neighborhoods uh, in the city. But what we've actually tried to do is make this area accessible for creative professionals at a lower salary base than most people who would own in this area or landlords who would be renting out office buildings at very high rents. Okay. So we're standing here in the kitchen and the, the shared living space or one of them? Yes. Look, our Tickville resident is funky and interesting and cool, too. So um, typically in their 20s or 30s, um, might have moved to Dublin or another city for the first time, um, probably staying here for a few years, but might end up living here permanently um, for longer. I see you're, you've brought in some local artists, which is really nice to see. Part of the experience that we want our residents to have is to feel that they're having an authentic Dublin and Irish experience. So we partnered with eight different artists, um, among them such as Katie Berry that you see on the wall. Okay, and you've been very sympathetic to the original features as well. I see a number of these fireplaces yeah. lovingly restored, Anil. Yeah, well, look, these fireplaces are amazing. These are the original fireplaces built when Irish Life built this building in the 1930s and 40s. Uh, and so we really want to bring them back to life again about respecting the character of the building and having a little bit of fun with it. And, you know, who wouldn't want to sit there and have uh, a, a whiskey or a fireside chat uh, late at night after a hard day of work? And the bar is there ready to go as well. Yes. It's lovely to have that company in the shared living spaces, but I like the idea of being able to switch off and move into your own bedroom. So this is a typical bedroom? Yes, exactly. And most of our residents feel exactly the same way. And so our communal living concept really works on having your own private space, your own apartment that you share with two or three people, uh, as well as having larger communal areas for events and hanging out. So for example, in this unit, this would be a typical bedroom in one of, this is a two bedroom unit. Okay. And so you have your own kitchen, your own bathroom. There's two bathrooms, so one for each person. And so if it's just you wanting to relax at home, you've got this perfect room for you and yourself. Um, if you want to hang out with your flatmate, yeah, absolutely. Very important, um, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, we spend a lot of time with that. This is really the heart of our community. So our residence lounge is really a place to work and to play for everyone. And so it means some people who decide to stay at home on a Friday afternoon and uh, just work from home, they can do that. Uh, as well as there's lots of social activities here that happen in the evening. Now there is a vetting process for residents, right? Yes, exactly. So most of our residents apply online. We have an application form and they tell us a little bit about themselves. What we're really trying to foster here is a really connected community. They're connected digitally, but they're connected with each other. A lot of our residents are from Ireland here but many others are from every continent around the world and so that if you decide to move to another city there'll be a node there for you and a whole community that's living in a New York or a Los Angeles or a Toronto or maybe Asia one day. Can we talk about the price? I appreciate it's all uh, bespoke. Is there an average price? Well this is a premium location so keep in mind we're in Fitzwilliam Square this is a prime area usually flats and apartments here are multi Euro, million euro price point. Yes. What we've tried to do is bring that million euro address to someone who's making somewhere from 40,000 euros and up. And so we have a price point that starts at about 1,300 euros per person per month. Okay. Um, and, and we go upwards to about 1,600, 1,700 typically.
you are now, something totally different. Would you live there? I'd live there if I was 23. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah I love it. If I was in my 20s. It'd be weird if you moved in there now, wouldn't it? With three kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not sure I'm their no, ideal target market the now. Not really what we're looking for here. <laughs> for baggage. Baggage. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah. I think it's incredible, though. It's a great initiative. And how, how much fun would you have that's in your 20s? That's the first of many coming into Ireland, apparently. I like that aspect where you can go and live in a similar one yeah. in cities. Swap around. Swap around. That's cool. Jane That's can come cool, from LA, you yeah. go over to her Because imagine the kind of people they're looking for are sort of jet setting mm. international. Totally. Yuppie types. types. Yeah. I wonder yeah. it would be quite transient though. Your housemates might change every year or every two years and you wouldn't know yeah, who they depending. are. depending. And these are people who can work anywhere apparently. Sure. They're graphic designers, you know, they're journalists, they're bloggers. They're, they're, they don't necessarily have to be in an office from nine mm. to five. Just the laptop, know? yeah. So, just the laptop, exactly. Cool.